Go for it. Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you a gun that means a lot to me actually. Uh, my 21st birthday was um, like a month ago, June 24th. It's uh, 2014 right now. So I got this gun. Now I was originally going to buy it and uh, just to show you it is unloaded. And my dad was right next to me when I was picking the gun out. I had this sitting next to a Kimber. And... Uh, I was like, you know what? I love this gun. And I was about to pull out my debit card to pay for it. My dad pulled out his credit card and said, happy birthday. So it was kind of a special moment. And so, and I named it Clementine. If you ever watch The Walking Dead, like the video game, you, you'll kind of understand. But um, it is a four inch barrel instead of a five. So it's cut down a little bit. It's a carry gun, so it can fit a little easier. It's got nice Novak sights on it. What I like about these sights is they're not plastic. I, I don't, people don't understand why I don't like plastic. I just, I hate plastic. I really do. So, and there's nothing plastic on it. It's got nice wood grips. It's not, this isn't fake wood, it's real. So, it is just such a nice gun. And I've shot, after we finished that box over there, which I think there's about uh, 35, maybe 40 rounds left in it. I've shot a thousand rounds through it and it's gotten so broken I can just pull it from the front and it's just nothing I mean it's broken in so well first shots I ever fired with this gun were actually flawless you know I didn't do anything with it I have literally no complaints the only the only thing about it if you're gonna buy one of these is it is a little snappier it's a little shorter of a gun so you might get a little bruising right here, but just hold on to the gun, you should be fine. All right, Alex, as a new shooter, how does that feel in your hand, like recoil-wise? It's really comfy. It's a little snappy, like you said, but as far as I can tell, it's pretty good. Yeah, and it's an inch shorter, so, but it seems like you're doing a lot better than me at it. So it, I'm good. How's the sight picture, like the, the dots, do they peer really easily or? Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, what can I say about it? It's just easy to shoot with no complaints about it or really, no so you would recommend this to anybody uh, yes definitely <laughs> all right really nice gun all right Alex let's do what we love to do and just shoot the hell out of it that's what I do best see it's a little snappy compared to the full length one but it's not unbearable. It's not like the three inch ones that are ridiculous. The three inch ones, what they like to do is short chuck rounds. And what a short chuck is, is when uh, it cycles. Here, could you hold the camera for a second? What a short chuck is, is when the, the slide comes back and just barely catches the round and jams it. And this happens when you limp wrist it, which is like you don't hold it tight. And so more of the kinetic energy goes through your arm because it always needs energy to push the slide back and if your arm absorbs too much of it if it just goes through your arm it's not going to have enough strength to pull it all the way back and that's a big thing when you start shorting up pistols like this is you have to really watch that now I've noticed with this one I've not had any problems it's only an inch shorter but with the three inch ones which I'm about that size I mean some of them are even like two and a half two and three quarters and they're really easy to short chuck but this is the nice gun you know um, it's not too long like the full size one so it's good for a concealed carry and it's not too short so you don't have to worry about it being too snappy and you don't also have to worry about uh, you know short chucks you know just hold it tight you should be fine I mean hold it like any 1911 it'll give you no problems and with a Colt you're always gonna get quality I mean it comes with a three pound trigger you know three to three and a half I haven't measured it but it's very crisp trigger you get a full size grip which is very comfortable something that's cool is they actually bevel out a notch for your your middle finger to 
pop in there so it pulls it towards the top a little bit more sometimes with the edge it pushes you down just a little bit this just gives you a little more room to put your hand on the grip so it's a little more sturdy so they put a lot of work into this they put serrations towards the front and the back so you can cock it like this and that shows you how good it's broken in I'm just pinching it with two fingers and pulling it back so this is to me this would be the best concealed carry gun um, I don't really trust the polymer wonders so I'm gonna say you know this is better than a three inch and a five inch when you're wanting to carry if you're wanting competition this probably isn't what you want but if you guys have any questions about this gun let me know but it comes highly recommended I mean I love this thing the, the looks of it it's just beautiful the feel of it I mean that it gives you just a little bit more extra recoil which is fun for a weird guy like me and the sight picture it's easy to pick up and it just the only complaint literally the only complaint is this the grip safety kind of juts into my hand a little bit um, when I start shooting it I don't notice it as much but it does jut into my hand a little bit and also the grips on this one at least kind of start to come loose after you've shot it a little bit um, it does it consistently but it won't fall off it's not really a big deal so this is highly recommended if you want a good quality 1911, these aren't cheap, these are around $1,200, but if you want a good 1911, get this. It's just the best on the market that I can find for the price. Come on. Go. Got it. Where you hitting, Chris? Trying for the middle, but I'm doing pretty bad. I'll have good luck and then just. You said you're going lower left. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you're going lower left. Oh, okay, may I change the left or left? Never had a shell casing. That had to have been way off. Yeah, I remember to hold the gun tight. Smooth. Tr there we go. All right. That's low. I'm gonna try for that metal little disc. What's that? I think I hit the pole. I'm not sure. I could have sworn I saw something bounce off. Oh, I was right there. Okay, I'm gonna go for that spray bottle. Left. I hit it. All right. I'm gonna go for that disc. For the that was way low. I pulled it. Where was that one? Left, I think. Maybe. Where am I going? It was low. Oh, nice. Got it. The last two shots I just kind of shot. Alright guys, I actually kind of recommend if you get a gun like this, a 1911. The mags for it are alright, but I got these Wilson Combat. And you will, just watch me watching me load these things, you can see there's an obvious difference in quality. I mean, I mean, just look at the follower of this one. And then look at the follower of this one. There's an obvious one. This gun came with two magazines. And honestly, this mag is so much better than both of them combined. I mean, look how easy it is to load it. I mean, these things aren't cheap. This was a $15 mag. But uh, I honestly recommend 
to get a quality mag with it because these do wear out. The biggest thing that happens, make sure my mic's still on, it is, is as it wears, this little band, if you can see it just kind of hovers above there. Over time, it'll start to bend and then it won't feed right. And I, I've shot with this magazine, this is the last magazine we got because we're out of ammo. And this is number a thousand. This is the thousandth round I've thrown through this gun. And I've not had one failure at all, which shows you a lot. But I, I have heard if you're going to have a failure, it'll be with these mags. So I recommend getting a quality mag like this. If just one, I mean, it's worth it. And when you get, first get this gun, especially with the Wilson Combat ones, is they won't want to go in for very well. I mean, it goes in now because I've shot a thousand rounds through it. But when you first get them, it will not go in. So you're going to have to hold down that magazine release. But, uh... That was the number of a thousand, guys. Thousand rounds I've thrown through this thing, and I've not had one failure, not one problem. I mean, the only problem, the only problem is the grips have been coming loose lately. Other than that, it's been flawless operation, just nice, you know. So this is just one of the neatest little 1911s I have. So, guys, if you want a 1911, get this one. I mean, I'm not trying to advertise for Colt, but this thing is just awesome. I love this thing. And look how filthy that thing has gotten. I mean, look at the front side. Stainless steel really shows the dirt, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's fun though. I got a lot of cleaning to do. Going high. You're going high? Go high. That thing's sweet. Yeah, it's got right? a nice recoil. 